Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on the time zone you're watching from. My name is Okeke Precious, registered nurse major, working with Liu Mission Hospital, Okidi. Today, being the 24th day of uh, March, marks the National Tuberculosis Day. And the, the theme of this year's tuberculosis says, yes, we can end today. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is a, an infection that affects the lungs, which is caused by a bacteria known as mycobacterium tuberculosis. What are the signs and symptoms? We have, when you start noticing things like chest pain, cough more than three weeks, coughing out of blood or poor hemoptysis, losing of weight, Sweating at night. When I mean sweating at night, it's not the regular sweat, no. This type is when we know that the weather is cool and we sleep, we wake up as if somebody falls into our room. That kind of sweat, you know. Then loss of appetite, fever. When you have any of these um, signs, please rush immediately to e mention hospital so that we can diagnose you of that. We have um, two types of um, tuberculosis. We will have the latent tuberculosis and then the active tuberculosis. What do we mean by latent tuberculosis? In latent tuberculosis, yes, one can actually have the term, but due to the high uh, immune system, it doesn't exhibit all those signs like you don't cough, you don't feel sick, you go about your normal um, activities. But it does not really mean that it cannot degenerate to uh, active tuberculosis. But there are some things that can make you, you know, when you have the latent tuberculosis, when you have like you, you have been sick for the, the last few years, you have your newly diagnosed of HIV, and then we all know that HIV is um, an virus that affects or attacks the immune system. So you that have a higher uh, immune system have uh, been affected with HIV and you, you have a TB that is inactive for a while. So you see that this will just weaken the immune system and then it progresses to active uh, tuberculosis. In active tuberculosis, that is where you get to see all those signs that I mentioned earlier, like coughing out of blood, chest pain, loss of weight, fever, and you getting sick. So these are the types of tuberculosis that we have. Then what are the causes? Yes. And then what are the risk factors? This tuberculosis, like I said, is caused by a bacterium that is called mycobacterium tuberculosis. But you have it is being gotten through what we call droplet infection. What do I mean by that? Like somebody who has active tuberculosis, when he or she coughs or sneezes, those tiny, tiny um, liquids that gets out of them can actually infect people. But it does not really mean that once you have, uh, once that, that drops to you, immediately you get it. No, it depends on um, the level and then the number of times you get involved with such a person. So these are the causes. And then somebody who has it can sing. You know, once the person sings, those uh, uh, droplets are out, like calls, sneezes, all those things are out. So these are the little cases that we can get it. And then what are the diagnoses? We have what we call the mantos test. In this case, a little food is being injected into someone and you know, around the skin area. Then about two to three days is being checked. If there is elevation in the skin area where the, um, the liquid is being inoculated, we say it's positive. But I want us to know something about this. Somebody who took BCG injections at Lucy's day when she or she is like a baby, one, sometimes this mantle test, once you do that, might actually say the person has tuberculosis while this is the false positive. 
okay and then sometimes it can also read a negative which is what we call a false negative so how do we progress to know if this is actually tuberculosis the your health physician will send you for chest x-ray and then in the chest x-ray you when it's being viewed you see some fat, patchy pigmentations there that can show that actually this person has tuberculosis so these are how uh, tuberculosis can be diagnosed okay then there are risk factors that can actually predispose one to having this infection like uh, somebody who has hiv or aids diabetes and um, somebody who has recently had chemotherapy to combat uh, cancer somebody who has um, cancer of the head or the neck you know and some people do who smokes because you know smoking affects the lungs and this is a disease that also affects the lungs so someone who smokes is at a very high risk of getting this infection also um people that uh, well, people that live with people that have active uh, tuberculosis are also likely to get infected. Then, for us in the healthcare system, we're not actually exempted, especially people who work um, in the TB unit where you even have higher type of um, tuberculosis, like what we call um, the multi drug resistant TB, MDR TB, you know. So people who work in the healthcare facilities are not actually exempted. Then people who live or have traveled to um, tuberculosis endemic areas like Asia, Africa, Russia, you know, these places also, they are at risk of getting this um, tuberculosis. And then let's not forget people who are in jail, okay? Because you know the inmates, they stay together. They stay in a very few. You know, they, they don't actually have this false ventilation stuff. So there's possibility that once they stay together, this person comes, this person inhales. Before you know it, somebody is down with um this tuberculosis. And also, when you have poor nutrition, see that's one of the importance of good nutrition. Because people who are in the latent stage, they, are, they have, because their immune system is high, they eat very well, they have, not forget that people also, those people who are in jail are at a very high risk of also getting this infection because they are in a place where there is no cause ventilation. This person coughs, this person inhales, and then they get it. Also, those people that have poor nutrition, those people that are malnourished, they are also at risk of contacting this infection, okay? And let's not forget that those people that were in the latent stage, they were there because they are there because they, are, they have a very strong immune system that is keeping them from, you know, coming down to active one. So now, once your, your nutrition is poor definitely you are, get, you are getting it okay so let's try as much as possible to be nourished at all times it's very important for us to know that if we are in latent phase of tuberculosis make sure you take all the prescribed drugs that your doctor gives you and this a, a example of there's some drugs that you use in preventing it from becoming active like azonazide you know so you have to take them and make sure you take it the way you've been told and then if actually you have progressed to active tuberculosis make sure you take your drugs the way it was told and these drugs are normally taken from six to nine months depending on the duration and duration and then the size of the infection and also um, for the prevention um, we can try the first the first of all once you give birth to a child try as much as possible as you can to immunize the child with bcg this is very very important but this is the number one way of preventing tuberculosis spread then when you travel Make sure in those endemic areas, 
make sure that you don't stay much outside of or in a very crowded environment. So in a nutshell, I want us to know how this tuberculosis can be prevented. The first and most important one is getting it once a child is being given birth to get that child immunized against tuberculosis and that is by giving him or her bcg this is very very important then secondly and once you travel to areas where tuberculosis is endemic you have to try as much as possible to stay out from crowded environments you know don't stay where you have a lot of people so that you don't get uh, this infection and most importantly if you know you have active TB, please try as much as you can to one, take your drug. Remember to always cover your mouth when you stop, sneeze, cough, at least to prevent the spread from other into getting to others. This is very, very important. I would like the general public to know that here in Union National Hospital, we give free um, treatments of tuberculosis so if you have somebody that has tuberculosis please tell them to come to EU National Hospital okay we run a free test that is James Pat's test for you to diagnose you if you have tuberculosis we also go as far as you know running free chest x-rays you know so please and this play and this Services run from Mondays to Fridays. Don't just don't delay. Do endeavor to come to a mission hospital so that you can get yourself or your siblings or your relatives treated as far as possible, as soon as possible. Thanks for listening. May God bless you all. Bye for now.